make sure you call me the anabolic doc because I'm the only one on the planet that understands testosterone and his sexual function. He's numb and he has some depression and we can't even, fi I can't figure it out. He's falling apart. His body is falling apart. PRT and hormone optimization channel. I was on the channel before. So I've been following the channel, watching it every now and then. So be sure to check them out. Consider subscribing, hit that notification bell and you'll be on your way. And the main problem of why guys are afraid and why guys are worrying about harm is because of guys like this. Yeah, I think he was talking about a, a client he had that was on TRT for like four years and his body just started shutting down and they can't figure out what's wrong with him. The anabolic doc or somebody else? The so, guy who's like well, super I'll, I'll high like, energy, who's always like, this yeah, is he crazy. Used to be, he this used to be a power lifter. We or, need to or talk, lifter. guys. I love, it. I love that guy. He's awesome. In one of his recent videos where he was discussing one of Greg's videos, he was talking about, you know, how you can be on TRT and do everything correctly. And then, you know, your body can still start to shut down. But I talked to a man today who after four years of being on testosterone, he did minimal steroids, his sex drive is horrible, his penis and his perineum and his sexual function, he's numb and he has some depression and we can't even, fi I can't figure it out. It's just in, just in the way he talks. I had a guy, he came in and, and he was like, he's falling apart. His body's falling apart. He used to take steroids, but now today his body's falling apart from the testosterone and his, Jesus Christ. Like, it's the fear, the fear and everyone be afraid. And you gotta be afraid. You gotta be afraid of this stuff. It's dangerous because if you don't deal with a doctor like me, you could harm yourself and potentially kill yourself. Make sure you call me the anabolic doc because I'm the only one on the planet that understands testosterone and I'm here to make sure that you're safe. This guy drives me nuts. He drives me nuts. I watched some of his videos where he's talking about the history of certain compounds and stuff and I actually find that kind of interesting. But when he gets into the fear mongering stuff is when it drives me nuts. It's the guys that make these kinds of videos that make everyone take stop and say, shit, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. And I don't want to have a heart attack. I don't want to stroke out. Oh man, you know what? I can live, maybe I should just live with ED the rest of my life. You know, maybe I should just live with no, no libido because at least I won't die. And at least this won't happen because this guy is saying that all this harm could happen. And you know, uh, Thomas O'Connor, like, seriously, dude, seriously, dude, why not do education? Why not do education? A guy that used to take steroids, right? He used to take steroids, meaning the synth synthetic derivatives, but now he's just on testosterone replacement therapy. His body is falling apart. It's got to be the testosterone. You've demonstrated it's the testosterone. The testosterone is making the guy's body fall apart. There's no way that it's all the shit he took before, right? There's no way that he's got something in his diet or some kind of deficiency. There's no way he's got some kind of underlying disease. It could be a metabolic disease, could be autoimmune disease. No way it could be something you haven't figured out. It has to be that fucking testosterone. Why does it always have to be the testosterone? It's, it's stuff like this that drives me nuts. And there's other doctors that are the same way. They talk about, you need to be afraid of this stuff and it's so dangerous. So make sure you deal with me, you know, Dr. Blah, blah, blah. And I'll make sure I can take care of you at my crazy high fees. Guys, this stuff is so freaking simple, okay? There is no data that any of this causes harm. We've been looking and looking and looking and looking and I found nothing. And when I keep asking for people to send me shit, they don't send me anything, okay? Every single one is a study having to do with a bodybuilder. And bodybuilders don't take high, just high doses of testosterone. They don't. I don't know a single bodybuilder that says, yeah, I take a gram a week of testosterone and I went to the Olympia with that. No, they're taking Trenbolone. They're taking D-Ball. They're taking Winstrol. They're taking Anadrol. They're taking on and on and on. They're taking the stuff that can harm them. The guys that are just taking testosterone, I'm sorry, we haven't seen it. I'd really love to see it. I'd really love someone to say, here are 10 studies of guys that were on TRT and look at the harm it caused. I'm going to look at it and say, holy shit. This is, this is, this is legit. This is compelling. Okay. We're going to need to investigate this because I want to protect my health long-term and I definitely don't want this to happen to me. So let me find out what the percentages and what kind of doses were these guys doing and what else I'm going to want to look into it. I haven't seen any guys. I haven't. So when you're listening to guys like this, Dr. O'Connor, again, it's the fear and the fear and the fear. Stop being afraid. We're, right now is, I mean, 
Everyone is afraid. Everyone is afraid based on no data. We have no data, but we should be afraid. Okay, so it's kind of like someone telling me I should be afraid of the killer unicorn that's been flying around the neighborhood. Well, there's no evidence that there's a killer unicorn. No, but there is. You, you, you got to be afraid. You got to be afraid because if it shows up, you know, it's going to cause harm. Well, can you show me evidence of this flying unicorn first before I start worrying about something and cause harm? There's no evidence, guys. There is no evidence. Stop being so afraid. Stop listening to people that are, that are pushing your, 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 making you worry, making you stress. This stuff is easy. If you have all the symptoms of low testosterone and you've ruled out every other factor imaginable, you can say, let me give this a try, even if it's just for the short term, because if it's for the short term, you can usually restart your natural production fairly easily. Okay. If obviously if you're on testosterone replacement therapy for 10 years and you want to restart your natural production, yes, it's more difficult, but you can do a trial. And if you say, oh my God, I feel so much better. You have to make a decision. Do I feel better enough that I will do this for the rest of my life? Because I don't want to go back to the old way. Yes or no. That's it. Okay. That's really all there is to it. Hey, thanks for watching. And now click on one of these thumbnails to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.